Okay, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to use uh, the prediction uh, website at habhub.org. So first you can see that the website specifically is predict.habhub.org and uh, what we're going to do next is um, basically find our location. So if you look at this uh, initial page, you'll see that this is in the United Kingdom. And so we actually want to find where we are. Now for the balloon launch launching from Noblesville High School, we're going to launch from uh, the west side of the high school. So I'm going to zoom in and find Noblesville High School. And Noblesville High School is on Field Drive, which is um, right down here in Cumberland Road. If you want to see, that's about as far as I can go. If you want a satellite, you can go up here to Satellite. And you can see there's Noblesville High School, which is back here. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go to Set with Map. So there's a link here that's Set with Map, and I can actually get my latitude and longitude simply based on that. So I'm going to click on that, and then it says now click your desired location of launch, which would be right about here. And it has now made a point right there. Uh, you can't tell, it's zoomed out quite a bit, but that's where the point is. And it gives me the latitude and longitude right here for the start. Now, the launch indicators, and uh, so what we're going to do is a quick little conversion here. Um, it's about uh, 811 feet. And you can see if I just start typing that into Google, gives me 247.1928 meters. All right, so I'm going to go back to, oh, that's the wrong spot. Go back to here, and I'm going to put in 240, uh, what did we get there, 247.19. All right, 247.19 is my meters. Launch time. Now, launch time, we're hoping for it to be at 8.30 in the morning. This is uh, UTC time, uh, which is four hour, currently four hours ahead of where we are on Eastern time uh, in Indiana. So we want to basically add four hours to our launch uh, time prediction. The launch date um, will be the 8th of May. This is our hope. Now that'll change depending on the day. We can either do it the 8th, the 9th, or the 12th. So just keep that in mind. Now right now I'm doing this on May 28th, or sorry, April 28th. This will not pr make a prediction at all um, for May 8th at this point. It's way too far out there. So I'm going to do something a little bit closer. I'm going to do uh, the 29th of April. So you can see what this looks like. Ascent rate for right now, until I tell you otherwise, five meters per second. I'm really hoping we get above 100,000 feet. I'm going to aim for 33,000 feet. Now, well, we have no idea what the burst altitude will be. Um, we can predict it within a certain range, but honestly, we just don't know. And so what you'll want to do in this situation is uh, make multiple predictions from, I'd say, anywhere from 28,000 up to maybe even 38,000 meters. Uh, 33,000 meters, if you want to figure that out, or if you want to figure out what 100,000 feet is, uh, two meters is 30,480. So if you wanted to be a little bit more specific on the 100,000, then you could go to 30,480 meters and that would give you an idea. We're going to assume that the descent rate is also about five meters per second. So I'm going to go ahead and run our prediction and you will see that it shows up and it looks like it's actually going to go uh, north by northeast. So it's going to go really far north close to Fort Wayne if we go that high. Um, and what you'll see is if I change this, let's say I do uh, 38,000 feet that will change the predicted location, but not by a whole lot. I wonder why that is. In any case, we can predict 
other dates as well. And most importantly, the computer you're on, if you do save location, it'll actually save this location and you can give it a name and your computer will remember it as long as the cookies are enabled. So that's about as much as I have to give you right now. I uh, hope that helps and we will um, take your predictions.